Hello, welcome to another. I like saying that. I say that in every video, don't I? This is another review right here with Chris G. And uh, today we're going to take a look at the Deleter. Uh, I think it's called the Triplet Set. The Triplet Set. The Deleter Triplet Set, which is um, this is a, a pin holder, three nibs, and uh, a couple pieces of Deleter paper. This comes in a pack that is sold together. It's almost like a, a starter kit, a manga starter kit. And uh, inside of the pack, it comes with these items. The first thing, I guess the main thing that you would want to look at is the nib holder, which a, a nib holder, all it is is a piece of wood or a, a grip, I guess you could say, a grip that you place nibs inside of. And we'll get to nibs in a minute. So this is the deleter nib holder. And it says it's a free pin holder from Deleter Incorporated. And um, so basically they have a, a, a well-priced set in which you get all of these items. And it's enough for you to start drawing other than ink. It doesn't come with ink. But um, as far as the, the, the nib holder, paper, and nibs, they all come together in a pack. And the price is set up so that you're not really paying for the holder itself. The price of these three nibs and the paper equates to about the price of the package together. So this is kind of one thing that they advertise when they, uh, when, you, when you see this pack. Uh, the nib holder is a, a single nib holder. You can only put one nib in it at a time. But the good thing is, is that it has this uh, dual ring so you can put small nibs inside of it, like the Mardu, which we'll take a look at in a minute, or a larger nib inside of it, like a Saji or a G-Pen nib, or a G-Nib. And we'll take a look at the nibs in a minute, but that's what can fit inside of this. There's also other types of nibs, but out of the three that come in the pack, that's what they're uh, used for. Uh, as you can see, it's very bright yellow. The leader is, uh, known for their yellow and black colors and this is their little logo of a cat that they like to use um don't mind this this is not there's nothing wrong with the nib it just fell in some paint or some ink or something and got a little ink on it so yeah the nib holder is uh it's a good length it's long enough so that it, it fits well in the hand it tapers off to a smaller end towards the back of the um, towards the back of the holder and basically what that does it just makes it feel a little better when it sits against your hand uh, when you're holding the, the nib holder other than that I mean that's it it's a wooden a wooden pin holder and that's about it it's bright it's yellow I like it okay so that's that now let's take a look at these nibs. So the nibs that we have, first let's start off with the Saji nib. The Saji nib is, uh, it's a nib, it's, to me it's similar to the Mardu, but it's just larger in size. It's a pretty stiff nib, it doesn't flex much. So I would say if you're new to the, uh, if you're new to using a nib holder and these nibs I would say start with the Saji because the Saji is a lot uh, it's very forgiving it's not going to uh, give you a big change in lines like the G or the Mardu this is a little stiffer so it's a little easier to work with and uh, you still get very nice lines and again this is the size that I was talking about this is a large size and then we'll take a look at the Mardu next, okay? As you can see, the Mardu, yeah, that's a good way to put it. The Mardu is a very small uh, opening that you slide into the, the, the holder of the pen. And the Mardu, I mean, and the Saji and the G have this same type of uh, end on the nib that you slide into the pen holder. So we'll put the Saji down. 
Next, we look at the Mardu. So the Mardu is on the smaller size. It's gonna give you smaller lines. And um, uh, a lot of artists use the Mardu for detail work because of the, uh, the smaller lines that you get. You do get line variation with these, uh, with the, with the Mardu nib, but again, since it's just smaller sized, um, I can't ever do this right here. It's a little bug in there. But again, since it's smaller sized, um, the lines aren't going to be very large. So a lot of people use this Mardu for the uh, for detailed work. So let's go to the next one. The last one is the G, which personally I think is the most famous and the most popular along with the Maru. But uh, I think many people know the G nib and know about like the G pen nib. So this is the G pen nib. This is a very good nib. This is one of my favorites actually uh, because you can get very thin lines and you can get very large lines and uh, it holds a, a nice amount of ink, which is, is really good. I like to use it. So you can use this for detail work and you can use this for large uh, strokes. But the thing is, is that this nib is probably the most unforgiving out of all of the nibs because it can flex so easily. There's a lot of flex on this nib. So if uh, the slightest change of pressure on this nib will give you a different line variation. So uh, you can probably get some of the most beautiful lines with this nib and some of the <laughs> some of the most not beautiful lines, if I can say it like that. You can get some not so beautiful lines with this nib, but it comes with practice. So, uh, and I'm no master, but I'm gonna try to do a little piece for you all today. And we'll get all of these nibs and do some, uh, you know, and show you all some line variations that they all have. Okay, now we're just going to speed up the video a little bit because I don't want to uh, make this review and tutorial too long. So I promise you're not missing much. You're going to see everything I was doing. But all I'm doing right now is installing the, need, the nib into the holder. And all you have to do is take the nib and you line it up with the open ring on the nib holder you slide the nib into the the nib holder and you push it all the way in until as you can see right here it is fully pushed in when you can't push it back any further that's when you know you've got it secure uh, next when you dip the needle uh, when you dip the nib excuse me into the ink you want to put the nib all the way up uh, past the hole on the nib and that's how you can uh, ensure that you have a full amount of ink as you can see right here with the saji it it doesn't look full because it's not full one thing i forgot and i'll correct it on the g pen is that when you're using new nibs this is a tip when you're using new nibs you have to put fire on the nib so you have to get a lighter and you have to put some fire some heat onto the nib to uh, help the metal of the nib grab the ink. If you do not do that, the ink will bead on your nib and then it'll just run off. And you'll have to dip a lot more often because the ink's not holding. So the I switched inks. Now I'm using Manga ink. I started with Pilot ink, but the Pilot ink is pretty much empty. So I switched to the Manga ink to use to finish off the Saji. The Saji, again, is the stiffest of the three nibs. It gives uh, some decent line variation, but you have to be, uh, you have to put pressure on it to get the variations. It's not just gonna happen uh, on accident, like maybe with the G pen, uh, the G nib, or the Mardu. So the Saji again, like I said earlier, is probably the uh, a good nib to start with before uh, getting into the G and the Mardu, just to kind of practice with. Right here in the video, as you can see, I'm putting some fire on the G nib because it finally hit me that the reason the nibs weren't holding ink was because I didn't put no fire on it. So all you need is a little bit, uh, 
you have to be very wary about how much uh, heat you put on the nib because you can bend the nib out of place and you can melt the nib. They're very thin. So uh, just a little bit of heat will work. And then as you can see right there, the ink will stick to the, uh, the, the nib. It'll fill up the, the nib. Now the G-Pen is, I would say the most advanced or the one that needs, I guess, the most practice out of the three nibs, just because, uh, as you can see from the hatching and then the lines under the hatching, you can get a wide variation of line thickness with this pen, and uh, or with this nib, and it also does not, it does not need a lot of pressure <laughs> to produce these uh, thick lines. So as I did that, that whirly thing to show the variations of the lines, you can get uh, really thick and thin lines. And right here, how the line can taper off into a really thin line or it can produce a thick line. Uh, the only thing is because it makes, uh, it can make thicker lines, the ink will run out faster. So you get railroad tracks, which is the two lines with no ink in between, like in the whirly thing. So just something to think about uh, if you want to make a lot of thick lines, know that you have to dip more often. Again, it's a little fire on the model. Try to get the model to hold the ink. And if you looked at the Saji from earlier in the video, the ink did not hold onto the Saji as it did with the G and the model because I forgot to put the fire on it. Uh, just like earlier in the video, the Mardu is the uh, smallest of the nibs and also produces the smallest lines out of all of the other nibs. Uh, but that uh, is good for creating uh, hatching effects and using it for small details. Uh, a lot of people like to use it for hair, like really, you know, like single strands of hair. This nib will work really good with because it's so thin it does make line variations but they're not going to be uh, as drastic as the g-pen and they're not going to be as large as the saji <laughs> so right here this is a uh, i i felt like i needed to you know do a sketch with these nibs just to show you you know some something that you can do as soon as you buy this kit so all you have to do is get some ink and this is the paper that comes in the the kit and i'm using the nibs and of course the pen holder out of this set i chose to do kuwabara if you don't know who kuwabara is uh kuwabara is a character off of the anime yu yu Hakusho, and to me he's one of the most underrated characters in yu yu Hakusho because He's like the secondary character, but to be honest, he, he probably makes like the most drastic change personality wise and strength wise and, uh, you know, more than any of the other characters on the show. But that's beside the point. I did the sketch beforehand and I just wanted to show these pens inking. Right now, I'm just using the G pen first off to do uh, to do the initial lines. Uh, most of the border lines I use the G pen with just because the G pen again is going to give you the boldest uh, the boldest lines and then it's easily uh, you can use it to easily change the variations of the lines if you want to see a video of like an actual drawing or like a how to draw video uh, let me know because I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind doing one but you know, if y'all want to see that, I would, uh, I'd love to produce one for you and see how that works out. So if you want to see that, drop it down in the comments and let me know. If you watch Yu Yu Hakusho, that's another thing. If you watch Yu Yu Hakusho, let me know who your favorite character is and why do you like that character. So like I said, mine is definitely cool bar out of everybody on the show. Right here, I'm using the uh, the Maru pen to go in and fill in some of the lines on the ears. And then I'll also use it to do the eyes and the nose of Kuwabara. And I chose to do like a, a manga piece 
just because I mean this is the the leader company is known for their manga products. So they produce manga paper and they produce uh of course nibs and nib holders and it's uh basically they you know they make really good starter kits if you would like to get into manga. And uh, they're very well known for that. So again, this is this is still the Mardu pen. And I'm using the Mardu to uh, fill in the hair and, uh, like I said, and the lines for the eyes and the ears. Next, um, uh, again, just filling in with the hair. Next, I'm going to move into the Saji, and I'll do some... Uh, some hatching with the Saji because um, since the Saji does not uh, flex easily you can get very even lines here's a Saji right here but you can get really uh, uh, neat lines with the Saji because uh, it's not going to flex on you so you're not going to get any variation with the lines so I use this to do some hatching to create some shading on the picture uh, I'm thinking about doing a giveaway I might use this picture as the uh, as the first giveaway on the channel so if you're interested in a giveaway just let me know down in the comments if that's something you're interested in and then I'll work out the you know how exactly we'll go about doing that but I think this uh, I think this piece will be the first piece that I do a giveaway with and uh, Again, right here, I'm just using the Saji for the hatching. And uh, if you look at it, the lines are all even. There's not any uh, change in the thickness of the lines. Again, that's because the Saji is stiff. And it's not going to create those uh, variations as easily as the other pins or the other nibs. And again, I would stop talking and put like music into the video, but I got to figure this music thing out before I try to do it again, because I've tried to put music in my last video, which is my video blog, number one, the first video blog that I've ever done on the channel, tried to put music on it, and then YouTube hit me with a copyright, uh, a copyright letter, so I, they took the volume out of my music, I mean, they put, took the volume out of my video, and muted me so I'm a little bit more <laughs> I'm a little more wary about just throwing music in videos now I gotta figure that out before I do it again so instead of music you gotta listen to me right here just using the G pin again I had to try to fill in this area most of the time when I use these nibs, I usually like to mix it with the, uh, the like the Pentel pocket brush pen, just because the brush pen can give you uh, washes of black ink. So like if I had my Pentel pocket brush pen, I would use that to fill in the mouth. But we're not worried about the Pentel pocket brush pen. Just using all of the things that come in the Deleter uh, triplet set, the beginner set. And uh, if you didn't notice the car up at the top, you see that? The Toyota, the A6, that's a, another anime manga uh, piece right there. If you've ever seen, uh, shoot, what's the name of the show? I know the name of the show, I just it's not coming to me right now. But if you know where that car is from, if you see that car right there, the Toyota 86 right there at the top, let me know what show it's from down in the description. So this is the finished piece. Again, if, if you like the video, if you would like to see more drawing videos like this or like a how-to video, let me know down in the comments. Uh, again, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like. And if you have any questions, put them down below as well. I'll be sure to get back with you. Thank you for watching. 
I'll bring you another one real soon. So stay tuned and subscribe. Peace.